Hello everyone, this is Srikanth from Geek in Teacher. How are you doing today? In this video, we will look at the storage feature of Mi Box and we'll also look at the various expanding options uh, of the Mi Box by connecting an external SD card. Let's first see what is the storage option given by the Mi Box itself. So now let's go to settings. That let's go to storage. And if you see the the Mi Box comes with eight eight GB of internal hard drive. Out of that, five point one GB is available. So what is it? Five point GB apps has taken one point four. Photos, audio, downloads, cache, and available is just three point four. Now, uh, just let me tell you, I have not installed any app. Uh, this this setup is as is which has default come with it so not install any app so without any installing any app if you look at it it's just 3.4 GB is available I think it is very very less uh, space available to do anything uh, so now uh, let's see to expand this by connecting an external drive using the full USB drive let me just quickly connect it and back once you connect the USB drive these options will come up one is the browse uh, then set up as internal storage and eject uh, what basically browse does is it, it allows you to check the contents of the SD drive and uh, is the USB drive the other option is set up as an internal storage and finally there is an eject option so the setup as an internal option you have to be a little bit careful over here so once you select this option what it does is like it will format your usb drive as an internal storage device and all your apps and data will be stored on the usb drive as it considers it to be the part of the uh, whole system itself now if you want to use this drive again outside of your me box into another pc or something it will not work and your uh, apps uh, may get corrupted and the data may get corrupted so you really have to be careful here but one advantage of using an internal storage is uh, it will actually uh, increase your whole storage now as you see it is asking for to format as an internal storage so once you do that it will only work with this device as mentioned there and will of course remove all the data I want to go ahead with it so let's select the format it is doing the formatting now now the formatting is done now and now if you see um, the sandisk usage drive comes as a part of a device storage so yes now all the apps you can install it will directly get installed within this uh, storage and uh, right from you know um, now the, the the device storage is increased from 5.1 plus 50 cents is about like 60 63 61 GB is increased yes so that's how you connect the formatting is complete and now you see the SanDisk USB drive comes as a part of a device storage and now um, you can install all the apps and data the way uh, all the data is being stored in the internal storage it will be stored in a similar way in the USB drive as it is a part of a device storage now now one more way to confirm this is like you can open the internal storage you see there is a different folder structure of apps photos audio downloads and all this cache data misc and available now if you go back and check the sandisk USB drive also it will have a similar folder structure uh, like apps, photos, audio, download, cache data, may scan available. So it means uh, your drive is now as a part of an in um, device storage. To verify, I have downloaded a couple of games to check where they will be stored. So I've downloaded the Minions game and Asphalt Edge. Now let's check. So if you go to storage and reset, and let's sandisk usb drive okay so you see the app section uh, it has increased to 1.8 gb and yeah 
so the downloaded apps are as per date 1.38 GB and minion rush is 318 MB so once you convert the USB drive as an internal storage device uh, the all the data is being stored in the USB drive so that's about it uh, thank you guys for watching please do subscribe to our channel see you guys in the next video bye